So there are some things that are quite clear and are not going to change. And you know me, I mean, I'm a big mouth and I put myself on the line, but I'm 90% right about what I tell you. And there will be no presidential debate this year. Joe Biden's people aren't going to put him up there. Here's how crazy it is. So I'm on Hannity's radio program today, and he's, and he's talking about Iran and Israel. And I disagree a little bit with Hannity on, on how Israel should um, come back to Iran. And I'm going to play that for you tomorrow because we're stacked tonight. Um, but in the process, I said, you had the prime minister of Iraq in the White House on Monday with the president of the United States, and they did not hold a press conference on Iran. And Iraq is right next door, historically an enemy to Iran. And Iran bombs Israel on Saturday, and less than two days later, you don't even hold a press conference. In addition, Biden, as we reported, had to read off a card what he and the prime minister of Iraq talked about. He couldn't even remember what the conversation was 10 minutes ago. So this is just staggering. You think that Biden's going to get up there for a 90-minute debate with Trump? There's no way on earth. So that's not going to happen. Number two, both candidates will say anything, anything at all. Doesn't matter if it's true It doesn't matter. All right, those days are gone. Political people will just say stuff. They don't care if it's true. Now, here's a good example. Yesterday in Scranton, the President of the United States made a few remarks. Go. We've opened more campaign offices because of you all than he he doesn't have open any that I'm aware of. I'm not being facetious. I'm not being facetious. We're also in a situation where we're in a position that we're generating a, a paid staff that's significant, and we're growing in every state. I've been to every every single every single of the toss-up states so far, and guess what? If you knock anybody who knows anything about polling, it's awful hard to poll these days, because no, I'm serious. But guess what? Even in the polls that are being used now, we're we're we were ahead in, in 35 polls. Well, guess what? And I'm not being facetious. No, you're not. That's totally ridiculous. And we fact-checked it, and it wasn't even close. You want to know the truth? Here's the truth. And this is taken from Real Clear Politics, which tracks every single presidential poll. Just go to realclearpolitics.com, see for yourself. So, since February 21st, Biden leads Trump in 12 national polls head-to-head. Trump leads Biden in 19, and four are toss-ups. So Biden is not ahead, never has been ahead, never will be ahead in 35 individual polls unless some crazy thing happens, which is certainly true, could happen. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532.